What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? It's your guy, the skinny boy, Randy. Hey, you guys. I'm trying to hold the camera steady for you guys. But yeah, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. Mwah! I love having you guys here. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. We're beginners and experts are always welcome. We love having fun over here on this channel, y'all. We try to take what we have and make it work because ain't nobody got no money to be going out here buying a lot of stuff when we can take what we already have and make it work. Okay, okay. If you're new, click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just not two middle bangles. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Also, if I can't answer the question here, head on over to my Facebook group. That group is called Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. Yes, you guys, I am super duper excited. Just wanted to make a quick video for you guys today, show you 15 things that I'm growing right now in November. Today is November 1st, and I'm going to be sharing with you all the things that you can be starting. Look at this bed, y'all. This is a beautiful fall gardening bed, and it's November the 1st. Yeah. Yeah. And we planted all this from seed. Y'all watch me do it. Just go back to September the 16th and, and, and watch how this bed looked about 60 days ago. Okay. Well, not even 60 days, 45 days. Look at these beautiful carrots. The carrots are coming along just beautifully. And I'm shocked because carrots can be very tricky. I didn't do anything fancy. I didn't cover them. I planted them when I planted everything else. How this choy spread around and some of these uh, giant red mustard greens spread around. I don't know. But we're gonna keep them. See this choy, 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 choy. We have some turnips over here, or these. I think these are the purple tops. And this soil may have been too nutritious for them because they may just give us the leafy green part. All right. And then we got broccoli going, looking good. Lettuce. Yes, you guys. These are all things that you can be growing. More broccoli plants started from seed. I started these as, uh, from transplant. More broccoli started from seed. Look at this cilantro. I just watered y'all. But yeah, this cilantro is just taking off like crazy. The spinach looking wonderful. I'm going to start snipping off those larger leaves and bagging them up. More giant red mustards. radishes now y'all know I just harvested these turnip greens the other day now look it looks like I never did anything to them and they were delicious y'all they were absolutely delicious but yeah turnip greens chard we have multicolored chard this is the red and then over here we have some more choy we have peas and they're starting to take on to the trellis. And you remember me planting these mustard greens, curly, dwarf? They're not dwarf anymore. They've grown. Yep, from those tiny little seedlings. And we still have tomatoes coming in like crazy. So I know some people were saying they felt bad for leaving some of the plants that are dying um, off. On the vine, uh-uh, don't throw nothing. We ain't got no money to be throwing no food away. If it's still producing and still kicking, we're going to keep on picking. Okay, okay. Anybody got no money? Shout out to the weekend farmer, weekend gardener. <laughs> Hold on to that eggplant, gal. <laughs> but yeah, I understand some things need to be pulled up. Like over here, understandable, okay? Yeah, stuff like that. But when you still got, look at these. You still got peppers growing. And flowers producing I will not remove this plant it shall not be moved and then we got some more choy over there and then I replanted some more mustard so that's what you call succession I planted these little babies the same thing as what's over there but see how they've gotten bigger just from being out of the seed tray into the ground yeah so that's how that works and then over here you see I'm getting my containers together I'm going with the brown theme this year y'all these are the Georgia collards, and when I came home, they were wilted, so I had to water them. And I got a video on watering, and you'll see the difference after they've been watered. But they're doing just fine. We have eight of them. Yeah, so these are all types of things that you can be growing right now. We have uh, more mustard greens. 
uh, uh, champion radish, uh, Chinese radish, uh, more greens. Yep, got a lot of things going on, you guys, so I hope you're growing. I hope this helped you out just a little bit. Here are some things that you can also be growing. Your onion sets, your garlic uh, bulbs, um, you know, you separate the bulbs into the individual cloves and plant those. And then uh, some. you got the peas. I think I named everything that I'm working with right now. So if you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comment box. Some people say they can even grow cauliflower and broccoli right now, especially if you live closer to the southern states in Florida and coming on back up. But we're right in the middle. And for the next two weeks, we're going to be in the 70s with uh, evening temperatures in the 50s. Just like as if it was spring. So I'm going to take advantage of that and get some seeds started. That way they'll be ready by the time we get our first frost. And then after my first frost, I'm going to plant my garlic. I like to let that frost come first because if I plant my garlic right now, the sun and the heat is going to make it bolt. And I don't want that. Okay, so I hope this helps you out a little bit. Don't forget, get your garden started. It's not too late to start your fall garden. It's your garden with Skinny Boy Rand. I love you guys. Remember to live, love, laugh, grow stuff, and eat it. Don't forget, like, and subscribe.